I think it's great that we're moving to sustainable fuels and sustainability is hugely important to the sport, very important to McLaren. Uh, a little data point, we were the first team uh, a decade ago to be uh, awarded the FIA Carbon Trust Award uh, and we've maintained that every year since. So uh, sustainability is very important. It also means a lot of different things to different people. There's fiscal, mental health, climate fuel, et cetera. Um, so the engineers, they love a great challenge where something's brought forward that could potentially slow the car down, whether that's fuel or aerodynamic restrictions. And they always have a very smart way of catching up and, and getting ahead. And that's the pace of development in Formula One. And that's one of the things Formula One can do for, for the world is it's an R&D lab that can accelerate the development of technology, which can then be applied to the road car business or medical devices, which you know we've we've been part of that with McLaren, the ventilator challenge that we had in the UK. So it's a, it's a challenge, but that's what Formula One teams love. It could be more costly though as we adjust, and this leads me to my next question. Markets across the world for the last year and a half have been consumed with inflation and rising costs. And when you look at Formula One, it's not exactly the the cheapest or most affordable business run. You're talking about fuel, you're talking about shipping all these high-end compo high component parts. The skilled labor and the amount of skill you'd have to hire in the pits for the drivers, not exactly cheap either. How have you, as someone who runs one of the prominent teams in, in F1, how has inflation impacted the way you run things right now? And how have you been feeling a pinch in trying to make sure the books are balanced while you're trying to make sure that your drivers can compete? Yeah, well, we definitely feel the, the, the pinch of the global supply chain, inflation, difficult on them on employees in particular, uh, which is, you know, what's most important to, to us. Uh, Formula One put in a cost cap. So now it's about decisions and it's about efficiency of spend. So we actually can't spend more. So when inflation comes in, what we have to do is figure out, well, if we're going to spend there, where are we going to spend less? So Formula One historically has been a sport where you can spend your way out of a problem. Now you can't because we all have a ceiling on how much we can spend, which has driven franchise value growth for the sport, for the, the shareholders, which is great. And it's now kind of balanced the playing field because you can't just spend more. But for sure, it's created challenges on where and how you spend your resources.